Um, and so I did want to just speak for a little bit of time, and then I definitely wanted to open it up to questions also. Um, but I kind of wanted to explain a little bit about who we are, where we come from, um, and what's current now, and a little bit about myself as well. Um, so we started a long time ago as United Cerebral Palsy. Many, many, many years ago. Right, and, uh, yes, a lot of people don't know that there's that connection because we've kind of been through some iteration. Um, so even back then, right, we were a nonprofit organization, we still are, um, and now with the name change, we work with people with many different types of disabilities. But back then, United Cerebral Palsy was primarily people with United Cerebral Palsy. So about 25 years ago, we branched out and became our own state agency under the name Cerebral Palsy of New Jersey because we had some ties to UCP. But we started working, like I said, with many, many more different types of disabilities. We have a lot of different departments. I'm only part of one, the assistive technology department. Um, we have respite, we have family support, we have advocacy, a, a lot of different things. Um, and we work now with, like I said, a lot of different agencies and a lot of different funding sources. We obviously work with the commission, we work with TV, TVR, TVD, DCF, Division of Children and Families, we work with the VA, um, and the TBI fund. Um, about eight years ago, we realized that the name Cerebral Palsy of New Jersey could be somewhat misleading, and so we had uh, a lot of different meetings, and, and we kind of restructured ourselves and became advancing opportunities. Because as you might surmise, a lot of people would say, oh, your name is Cerebral Palsy of New Jersey. Obviously, you only work with people who have Cerebral Palsy, and that, again, was not accurate. So now we're advancing opportunities. So that's a little bit about the agency. Now, my own personal history, I've been working in the field of assistive technology for 10 years. I started actually working for Elwin a long time ago, uh, working with the commission when John DeWitt with DeWitt and Associates worked in northern New Jersey. So I worked in the southern part of New Jersey, and at that time, we also split the contract the way that it was set up. I only worked with students and what they considered then to be multiple disabilities. So students who had a visual impairment as well as some other type of disability, whatever that might be. 